Welcome back to the Plus Dive for February 2018. Uh, as is custom, we start with the newest platform first, and Starblood Arena was first made available last month, but is still available for free on your headset this month. Can't wait to see what they do for next month. Goblin Village is across this lake and up that cliff. We're almost there. Four years after its release, a few months after I featured it in one of my videos, and two weeks after I convinced my nine-year-old nephew to buy it for five dollars on a PlayStation Network sale, Knack is finally free with your PlayStation Plus subscription. Um, if you somehow have not heard of this game, it is a uh, fairly standard 3D platformer. Um, it's actually pretty fun. I, actually, I, I classify it more as an adventure game. Um, you play as Knack, the little guy on the screen there, who can become a not-so-little guy. Um, one kind of fun feature that I learned thank, uh, since the video I did is that sometimes when you open these treasure chests, you can get the option to choose the treasure that someone on your friends list had found. So, Knack is available for free this month. If you want to know more, check out my video in November. Moving on, however, we next have Rhyme for the PS4, which is an adventure slash puzzle game. Um, beautiful graphics. It's It's got a very Wind Waker-y vibe to it. Um, there are... This worked very well with normal gamer sensitivities. Um, so if you played games before, you'll get the hang of this. One of the things that I liked is that they always kind of point you in the direction where you need to go by having these beacons off in the distance. And uh, the immediate goal in the first area is to find these four little fox statues, and then when you come back here, you yell at the giant statue, and you get a friend. Rhyme is available for free on the PS Plus on your PS4 this month. Moving along to the PS3 freebies, we have Chapter 1, Overwhelming Intro, The Undisputed God Meets a New Deity. Actually, the name of the game is Mugen Souls Z. It is the most anime anime I have ever animated in my entire life. The intro video is insane. Um, all of the characters are ripped straight out of a manga. Um, I don't say this as though it's a bad thing, though. I, I The style works. It's very bright and colorful, as you can see. The battle system is actually pretty fun, too. They give you a good taste of it early on with Shosho here, um, where she just kind of rips through the enemies. Uh, but um, take a look at... A video I recently posted to see how quickly you you get your first trophy within about 10 seconds of starting the game it's kind of insane um, there's a lot of story to begin with so keep an eye out for that but the gameplay is definitely worth it unlike some of the uh, um, visual novels I've covered recently you do get some overworld areas to run around in from time to time. There's a fairly decent cast of characters for some variation. There you have it. Mugen Soul Z is one of your PS Plus freebies for the PS3 this month. The other one? Yeah, get used to that. You can walk off a ledge and die in Spelunker HD. I, I I don't even. I mean, seriously, 
this game looks like it would be so much fun. But it just suffers from the fact that there are such cheap deaths that should not happen. Even though this game was originally done in 1985, even for 1985 standards, it is just awful that that happens. One kind of neat thing, though, is that you can, uh, when you begin the game, choose between classic and remake graphics. It also changes the music in the background. Um, so if you like the old graphics, if you like the new, you have your choice. It's not going to save you from the cheap deaths, though. Thank God this game is free on your PS3 this month. Go with Spelunky. It's much better. Explosively kicking off the Vita freebies, we have Exile's End. This game is a Metroidvania. It's very obvious from the little mini-map up top. The, the graphics kind of reminded me of Flashback on the Genesis and Super Nintendo. But man, watch out for the fall damage. It's kind of ridiculous. And healing is pretty far and few between, so you have to be really, really careful. Inventory management is easy enough. All you have to do is press a button and, uh, you know, then navigate using the D-pad. Um, yes, much better. But for the most part, you start off with rocks as your weapons. And they have an arc to them. It, it takes some time getting used to. You can pick them right back up again. But uh, it, it does take a little bit of work. They are also used to flip switches and other puzzles. But this one, yeah, you're going to have to get used to game overs as well. It's not as unfair, I feel, as Spelunky, Spelunker, but it gets a little close. There's also a survival gameplay mode where you actually get to start out with a gun. And it seems to be a little bit more forgiving with the uh, damage, but you've got a bunch of enemies and you need to, like, take out all of the enemies in the stage before time runs out. Exile's End is a freebie on the PS Vita this month. It's on the PS4 for 10 bucks as well. The last one is actually cross-buy between Vita and PS4. This is Grand Kingdom. And uh, it's a little bit... It's a, an RPG with some tactical elements to it. I do love how you're actively encouraged to use your spells to get around enemies. I thought that was kind of interesting. But uh, you have a certain number of turns to get done with a fight with your area, and every round in battle also counts towards those turns. The combat is kind of interesting. You've got your team of, team of four. Um, it reminds me a lot of Darkest Dungeon. You need to uh, keep track of where your characters are, the distance of their weapons, of, of their attacks. Um, you can easily accidentally hit your own people if they're in the way of an attack. Um, but you've got ranged attacks, you've got melee, uh, you have healers and all that good stuff. I actually kind of enjoyed it. It was very, um, like I said, a very tactical feel to the combat. Back at your base, you can build up your army how you like from a bunch of different classes. And once you select one, there's a lot of customization options to go through. You can choose the name, hair color, face, skin color, and that's even before you get to distributing bonus points. It's a lot of fun. Grand Kingdom, available for free on your PS4 and PS Vita this month. Thanks for watching this month's Plus Dive. As an added treat, I actually recorded a good chunk of the creation of this video 
and it is archived on my YouTube channel. Go have a look if you're interested. Um, it showcases the wonderful Share Factory tool. Uh, otherwise, like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you next week.